All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Out of Fluff podcast with your host, of course, me, Fluff, or aka Graham. I hope y'all are doing wonderful today. Today is Thursday, the last day of November. Dude, November has been, uh, how can I put it? November has been kind of, kind of wild. A lot of, a lot of things going on in November. December is going to be the exam, same exact, same exact way. I'm not sure if I mentioned this last time in my video or whatever, but your boy definitely got registered for classes. Turns out, dude, my fucking classes start in February. Apparently there's a winter session and fuck. So going to have to find a fucking job. Womp, womp, womp. But anyways, other than that, I'm about to be chilling today. Of course, you know, doing my little thing. I've been trying to fucking play more of Apex, Smite, stuff like that. Doing the regular, regular stuff, you know, just chilling. But first, first things first, I, in the morning, I want to go ahead and start with this. In the morning, scrolling through X or what everybody knows as Twitter. Scrolling through there, seen a video of, uh, how can I put it, of a pool party, and it was a black pool party, and apparently one of the dudes, like, threw one of the girls inside of the pool, and then she started freaking out because she can't swim. Um, why do you not know how to swim, bro? It, the earth is 70% water or some shit like that, and yo ass is refusing to learn how to swim dude why are you going to a pool party and you don't know how to swim why go to a pool party and you're not going to be in a pool dude it never makes sense to me of why people would throw pool parties and nobody would be in the pool whatsoever dude at least you know a few people get into the pool or something like that and if you can't swim Maybe it should be a huge label of this is the side you can stand. <laughs> this is the side you got to kick your feet. <laughs> Since, you know, apparently people don't know how to look at numbers and shit. So, hey, but nah, dude, I, I don't really get it. And I don't get why the black population refuses to learn how to swim, bro. Like me personally, if I was throwing a pool party, um, I would test every nigga that showed up. Every motherfucker that showed up to the pool party had to get tested to see if they could swim. I'll start them off on the, on like the little, the easy end, the, the shallow end. And I would be like, you know what? Meet me over there to the other side right quick, but you got to swim. And if they go halfway and be like, I can't go, then you're going to have to leave this whole party. I'm sorry. You're, 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 you're different. You're, you're, you really thought. <laughs> That I was going to have any type of danger here. No. Go ahead and leave. Pack your things. Get out. Get all your stuff. Go learn how to swim. The YMCA is down the street. Take some swimming lessons with the little kids. Crazy. Because not knowing how to swim in a world that's full of mostly water is one of the wildest things ever. But, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't be me. I just wanted to go ahead and get that off my chest. And I do want to get this little hot take off my chest right now, too. All right. It's going to be a hella hot take. A lot of people not going to like it. But honestly, I do not care. At this point, I feel like she can because she's been doing a whole lot of wild shit. And a whole lot of, uh, a whole, a whole lot of, I guess you could say, negatry. But I feel as though, um, Pokimane at this point should be allowed to say the n-word just saying dude just saying I just thought about this right before I actually started this fucking uh podcast so I haven't fully thought this through but I feel like she can be able to say the n-word all right because first things first everybody knows about them fucking cookies and those cookies costing I think like 20 something dollars or whatever the fuck that I heard of um no, that's that's some negatory shit. You you taxing on cookies, and apparently the cookies are dry. 
They're supposed to be healthy cookies and they're they're dry and they cost $28. You you don't help out with people. First of all, you you're not helping out with anybody for health because um if it is healthy and you're trying to provide to like other people that's poor, you're on the same spectrum as basically what the fuck is happening with this economy. Right? One and I think that she already knew that, but I think that she mainly she's mainly selling it for the price, not because of the cookies, but actually because her name is tied to it. I feel like people actually forget about that. It's like the same thing with fucking Beats, the Beast by Dre. Dude, those shits cost two hundred dollars because of a nigga's name that's attached to it. That's that's where I see the comparison. Then also, I think on top of that, isn't like Pokemon's fucking family or some shit like that, or like she's mainly like from Africa or whatever. Or some something like that. So she's more she's more like African or black. She's like more she could be more in tuned with the culture than like a lot of other people can ever be. And some people and those people are still saying the N word and getting away with it. Like uh and then on top of that, she also has Twitch by a toll code, it seems like. Dude, she's like fucking she's like the Diddy or Suge Knight of streaming, bro. That's what I feel like she is. Like, if you step out of line with her, then your whole shit is gone. Like, you better you better have something on another platform because it won't be on Twitch. It, it won't be on Twitch. And she'll make sure that too. That's some that's some petty shit. Like what she did with uh what's his name? Jadon or whatever the fuck his name is. And now he's like a a whole Christian or whatever, where he deleted his videos or some shit like that. I don't know, man. That man. That man does a lot of weird shit. We'll we'll hear from him again in like two years when he gets bored. But nah, that's that's crazy, dude. She 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 acts. No, I wouldn't say like she acts like it, but a lot of stuff that she does is really similar to a lot of shit that niggas would do. All right, because think about it like this: twenty eight dollars for some cookies. Only only niggas from like the hood can can know that. If they tax in something like this, it's to a certain audience, and she knows it's to a certain audience, one hundred percent. So they know that they're gonna pay for that. That's why niggas tax white people for drugs. <laughs> you think that ten dollar gram that you just got is gonna be sold the same price to a white person? No, nigga, no. White people got good credit score. Tax them twenty dollars for a gram. <laughs> twenty dollars, please. <laughs> You don't do no type of you don't do no type of deals or anything with black people, but if it comes down to white people, it'd be like, look, I'll give you <laughs> I'll give you this eighth. Now usually I charge around sixty dollars for this eighth, but I'll lower it down by five dollars. I'll lower it down by five dollars. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got regular niggas out here buying eighths for like, you know, thirty. <laughs> So that's what I'm saying. Hey, look, that's the same shit. You know, for for drug dealers, they doing the same shit as Pokemon basically did with their cookies. It's all about the audience that you're basically trying to sell to. And she's obviously selling to a certain audience because her name is tied back behind it. Come on. So, yeah, I feel I feel like she has. I wouldn't say unlimited amount of times that she can be able to say the N word. But I will say that if she's. If she said the N word right now, I would not be mad. <laughs> I would not be mad whatsoever because she's acting almost exactly like how niggas would end up acting. So, I mean, hey, that's just me personally. I know it's a crazy hot take for a lot of people because, you know, there's some people will come up about the whole African thing and her not actually being, you know, black skin. But to me personally, uh, the. <laughs> If he was to like, you know, make her a couple a couple shades darker, dude, she she's a regular light skin. She could I feel like she could say nigga once in a while. Not every day though. Not every day. Mm -mm. Nah, not every day. But like once every like quarter, hey. I wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> I would not be mad about it. But yeah. Those are those are the main two things I just had on the top of my head. I had like other topics that I had 
before from like earlier this week that I wrote down. I just wanted to go ahead and talk about those two just off rips. Just get them out of the way and everything. So, yeah. But, damn. I love, uh, I love Thursdays. I, I like listening to throwbacks on Thursdays. You know, with some like Wu-Tang. Some Biggie. I'm not a big Tupac fan. He got a couple of decent songs. I'm not a big fan of them. I like Ice Cube. I like Ice Cube more than Tupac, honestly. Um, Snoop more than Tupac. I I can listen to their stuff more. But yeah, dude, Thursdays are Thursdays are pretty cool. Thursdays are really cool. Oh, dude, fuck Spotify. Hey, Spotify. I would like to give you a class of what's called fuck you. With a passion. Dude, no way that y'all really think that Lil Durk is my top artist. Like, go slap yourselves. Of course, my account had to have been hacked and somebody was boosting Lil Durk's new album on that bitch. June 2nd, it said that I had 143 times played on a fucking Lil Durk song. Dude, I only have three like songs of Lil Durk's. Three, bro. One, two, three. And that is crazy to me that my top five songs were all songs from his album. My whole Spotify rap was fucked because of somebody boosting this nigga's album on my account. Crazy, bro. That shit is crazy. I have a family plan, bro. Use one of the other accounts that you could just add on there. Why did. Why did you have to fucking use my own? That's crazy. You know what? It's probably because Spotify, this this past year, Spotify has been fucking with me because of the fact that I haven't been paying my bill on time. That's probably why. They probably just offered my shit up. You know what? Fuck you. You ain't got to do all that. Just cancel it. Get rid of it. I hate whenever bills keep stacking up. And it's not stacking up, but they keep calling you about the same bill whenever you miss the payment, bro. Give me about a week. Damn. Shit. I got all my payments at the end of the month. I get paid at the end of the month. Just give it a couple of days. Don't do all this extra bullshit. Damn. But yeah, no. Fuck you, Spotify. <laughs> fuck out of here with the stupid. I, now I got to build my rap. I had not having Little Dirk whatsoever. I'm not even listening to Little Dirk anymore at all. If he's in a song, I'm not listening to it, bro. Sorry. That nigga's been trash. Since even since like back in the day, the only song that I actually fully like of his was 52 bars. And that was back when I was in high school. Other than that, fuck Lil Dirt. Don't care. Do not care. So, yeah. Had to get that off my chest too. A little rainy rant. rant. But yeah. So, I'm not. Dude, I can never remember of where. I get like this stuff from, you know, maybe one day whenever there's more people that listen to this and some shit, they can, you know, go back and see for what I was talking about. But there was a question that was online and it's, it was saying, uh, oh no, it was DDG. Ah, fucking remember motherfuckers. Yes. DDG asked this question and he was like, you know, would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? And to me, dude, I would definitely, I don't know, see the, the pros of knowing when you're actually going to die is if that shit's set in stone, I can do whatever the fuck that I want because I know I'm not going to die until that day. So whenever I get closer, it's probably to like, you know, when it's a year or two right before that date, then I just start going crazy, bro. I feel like I would have to accomplish the goal of becoming the world's most wanted man and then just disappearing. And I'll disappear probably like, you know, a month right before I end up passing away. I just got to make sure that I don't get caught in that process of becoming the world's most wanted man. But that'd be cool. I wouldn't want to know how I, I would I was going to die because what if it's something that's crazy and it's unavoidable? Like you get tortured to death. Dude, I don't want to know that ahead of a time. 
because I think that I would just probably go ahead and just take myself out now. Like, dude, it has to be so miserable knowing how you're going to die. Like every day you wake up and you're like, fuck, dude. I'm going to die because my dumb ass fell off of a fucking building or I'm going to die because I got into a car crash. And then that makes you paranoid because then there's then whatever it is that you're going to die by, you, you're you not going to want to do anything that is close to that. So say like if you did die in a car crash, dude, you would not want to get inside of a vehicle at all because you don't know when that crash is going to happen. Dude, that shit is crazy. I would 100 percent rather know when I'm going to die so I can live my life to the fullest until that date rather than being paranoid every fucking day of my life and making sure that I don't do that one thing or some something of that one thing that would end up putting me on death row like bro because that's something crazy to like think about I know some people would rather know how they're going to die so they can be able to avoid it but all in all death is uh what's that big ass word Ine inevitable I think that's how you say it I don't know. I don't say big words a lot, bro. So, hey, I don't know how to spell it. So I usually don't say words that I don't know how to spell. But past that point, I you you can't escape death. You're not immortal. So I'd rather know when I'm going to die on that date. I, I would want to know the exact same second that the soul leaves the body. The exact same second. Because the Gotta, I got to plan up to there. I got to make sure that I accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish in my life. And then if I know that I can't accomplish some of those things, then it's just an easy, oh, well, fuck it. Let's put something else. Make a fucking a whole list to do and just start going wild. But what would really be crazy is if you found, if you was to answer this question and you pick when, and it says some wild shit like tomorrow at 8 a.m. Like, bro, damn, bro. What are you supposed to do the day before? Like, and you, and then you don't know what, what's going to happen. I think the, the not knowing what's going to happen part for that little time space is going to be crazy. You're going to be thinking about it like, a, like, especially like, you know, the week before, like the couple, especially the couple of days before, you're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be like, bro. I'm going to die. And you're just thinking to yourself of like, I hope I don't die in certain ways. Like I, I hope I would never die with a rod going through my ass and stopping at my chest, bro. Imagine dying with the pipe in your guts. Dude. Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you see that's it dude you see that's how you're gonna die and you're like bro i'm about to die like that like that dude that's horrible that that is straight horrible couldn't i couldn't no mm -mm. nope rather know when and hoping that it's not anything crazy or bad so that's that's just that's just me. I don't know what other people are thinking or what they would say in general. Because if the shit is set in stone, no matter what the fuck that you do, then there's nothing that you can change about it. The only thing that you can probably change about it is to try to off yourself before. But then that problem comes into play is that you're going to fail every time, especially if you especially if you know that your date is exact, you're going to fail every time. And then you're going to fail every time because the way that you're going to die and that's set in that set in stone is not how you're going to like you killing yourself is wasn't the way that you were going to go out and you're going to keep on trying. You're you're not re you're not rewriting anything, bro. That shit is set in stone. You might as well live your life to the fullest. Don't try to avoid it and just do whatever that you can to live a great life at that point. Shit. <laughs> that, that's all it is. Oh, fuck, this pin got clogged. Oh, man.
All right. <coughs> I had to unclog that pin, dude. The fucking I. The one thing I don't like about fucking pins is that the wax comes through the pin. So sometimes I'm even like, I'll suck up some of the wax because it's stuck in there. I need a fucking, I need a fucking napkin or some shit. Get this wax off. Use this foam. This foam doesn't work whatsoever. Dude, this foam does not work whatsoever. Why did I pick this up? And I think I just fucking plugged plugged it back up. Are you fucking serious? Oh, no, I did it. Okay. But yeah, nah, dude. That shit would be wild. That shit would be hella wild. But yeah. But you know, I was sitting, I was sitting on the couch and I was watching a little bit of uh, Spongebob before. And I was like, dude, what if, oh shit, my bad, I'm sorry. What if, what if Spongebob characters were actually humans? Like, what would they be like as humans right now in today's society and how I think? And uh, I thought a little bit deeper to this, okay? So first things first, we're going to, I think I have about how many characters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven, I got seven characters, bro. So first character, of course, we're going to go with this SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Y'all would think that he would be a, like a, like a burger place, right? Nah. SpongeBob will be a fry cook at Chick-fil-A. Because SpongeBob is way too nice and Chick-fil-A employees love their customers for some reason i know that they like faking the whole thing but while they're there they have to put on that impression that they love the customer and have to fully respect the customer and everything like that blah 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 dude spongebob fits so well with chick-fil-a it's crazy and then he'll go fucking butterfly catching or some shit like that in the woods do some some weird shit but 100% Spongebob will be working at Chick-fil-A. Next up is Patrick. Dude, Patrick, y'all, I, I was just going to say that he was going to be a lazy bum, but nobody is just a lazy bum nowadays. So I see Patrick as being a lazy bum that just stays on Feet Finder, bro. That man is browsing. He got a whole collection. Matter of fact, he has a terabyte hard drive build up of just different feet picks and vids bro i feel that's the type of guy patrick will be like in real life all right either that or or hear me out he'll be similar to beetlejuice all right i guess <laughs> i can i can see patrick Patrick and Beetlejuice are basically the same person, bro. 100%. I, I think that's a, that's a fact. Patrick, Patrick is just Beetlejuice. He'll be Beetlejuice or he'll be someone like Beetlejuice. 100%, dude. That's Patrick. Uh, next up, fuck. Number three, Squidward. Squidward, uh, yeah, I think Squidward will 100% be a music teacher. And he just never, he tried to go big. He tried to be the next Beethoven or that's really the only uh, musical motherfucker that I know. I don't know anybody else that makes music without words, but he'll, Squidward would be like that. 100% Squidward would definitely be like that. And he will be one of those people that will be online just talking about, I hate today's generation of music. like. That is so bad. I don't even understand what they're saying whatsoever. But that that would be fucking Squidward, one hundred percent. It'll be it'll be, it'll be a fucking goofball. It'll be one of those people that get clowned on the internet so quick. Who else have we got on here? Uh, number four, Mr. Krabs. Dog, I'm telling y'all right now. Mr. Krabs will be the CEO of Forex. So whoever the fuck that motherfucker is, 
is basically Mr. Krabs. 100% got to be Mr. Krabs. And on top of that, Mr. Krabs is also a pimp. And he, he's like a new age pimp. So he pimps out women on OnlyFans. That's what he does. So, you know, OnlyFans only take like 20% of their cut. Well, he's taking about 60% and leaving the other 20% with the, with the, uh, with the females that do it. <laughs> with the females actually putting in the work for OnlyFans. Just, I guess he's providing them the space and place and everything like that for them. He's taking 60% of that shit. I'm telling you, that's, that would be Mr. Krabs 100%, and none of y'all can tell me otherwise. All right. The CEO of Forex and a pimp for uh, OnlyFans girls. And that's crazy. And he was in the Navy too, so he was probably a pimp. And I've heard some wild shit about fucking some of these overseas militaries, especially uh, I think I've heard about the Filipino, the Filipinos over there and how the Filipino Marines, I know one dude, uh, one of my friends, he was talking to one of them and then they said some shit along the lines of like, yeah, no, uh, the female Filipino Marines are actually like more than half of them are prostitutes. And if you want one of them, just let me know. And that's, that's crazy to me and that's wild, but it's another country. So that's them, but that's wild though. But next up, uh, the only kind of real successful one and will have no problems in life, Sandy. I think everybody knows that Sandy would be some type of scientist or engineer or some shit like that. I think it's pretty fucking obvious. I don't know which one that she would go into. That's a whole, I'm not going that deep because she does like a whole bunch of different shit. So I don't know exactly which one that she'll be into, but 100% she'll be the most successful out of any of them. Uh, next up is what number are we on? Six, Mrs. Puffs. Dude, Mrs. Puff would definitely be working at the DMV still, but she doesn't get paid enough. So She's actually a part of Mr. Krabs pimped out only fan girls. <laughs> that's, that's Mrs. Puff right there. So Mrs. Mrs. Puff Mrs. and Mr. Krabs are, they, they still, they still on the lines of like knowing each other and everything. Just, you know, positions have taken places. <laughs> we know who's working for who. That's all I'm going to say on that. But yeah, dude, Mrs. Puff is going through something crazy, bro, and she is, she is wild, All right? She's not, she's not only doing driver's lessons and stuff, but she's also doing like all the stuff for the DMV or whatsoever. Yeah, dude, she's definitely working at the DMV and definitely, uh, late stage, uh, OnlyFans. So, last but not least, uh, we got Plankton. Dude, I thought about this so fucking much of what he'll be, and honestly, of how he acts. And everything. Plankton is so fucking stupid, bro. Plankton would be in jail for stealing a Big Mac for the 57th time at the same McDonald's, bro. At the same exact McDonald's, he would go and try to steal a fucking Big Mac. But he still has his AI girlfriend and and the AI girlfriend is still, I forgot what the fuck her name is, but she still was like giving him basically the formula because she can Google it. They have internet and Plankton's dumbass would be like, oh, I'm going to go do this. And it'll be like the fucking, is and then he gets arrested because he went, he, he fucking passed this fucking restraining order. And well, I mean, broke his restraining order, so now he's in jail because he wanted to try to steal another fucking Big Mac. Even though the even though Plankton is smart, he still is just so stupid. Still so stupid. But yeah, dude, uh, what one hundred percent? Plankton would definitely be in jail, and I think it's because he'll be trying to steal a fucking Big Mac, or Steal the, steal the ingredients to a McRib. It'll be something for McDonald's. 
hundred percent has to be something from McDonald's. Either that or or what actually kind of makes more sense is uh In N Out and he's trying to find out what the actual sauce for In N Out is. But then again, it still falls along the lines of he has an AI girlfriend still and she's trying to tell him the fucking formula, but he won't listen and now he's in jail because he won't listen. That's one hundred percent plankton. But yeah, no. No shit, dude. That's that's pretty wild. I thought about that a good amount. I think it's fucking hilarious. And I think I would say I'm pretty fucking accurate on what I feel like they will be. But for any anybody that made it to this point in the video, please put put what y'all think. Who like who what what type of person that they would actually be in real life in today's society? All right, got to think about like today how the economy and everything is what they would actually be like. I think I'm pretty accurate, bro. I think I'm 100 percent accurate on this. I don't think there's any flaws or missteps. Probably Squidward can be a little bit different, but I feel like his little backstory right there is basically what it is. He tried to go big, but couldn't make it. So now he's a music teacher. Yeah. Crazy, though. Crazy. But thank you again for everyone that actually tuned in, listened, and then watched all the way through. Love you. Stay blessed. Always, of course, you know, don't just do more. Be more. I see y'all at another point in time. Peace. <laughs>